the word of God tells us about yesterday, tells us about today, and tells us about tomorrow. That's why the word of God is our is solid. Somebody asks you, why do you believe in the word of God? Why do you believe in the Bible? Because the Bible is the only book that was bold enough to give a prophecy or a prediction about what is going to happen hundreds and thousands of years before it happened. Mm. There is no any other book on earth that you can go in that can tell you um, a virgin woman will have a child and that woman will be, uh, will be living in this city in Nazareth uh, and this woman will have a baby and then this baby shall be called this name. And before it happened, there's a land called Israel. They shall be scattered and after some time, they shall be gathered together. You and I experienced that on the 14th of May, 1948. It was written hundreds of years before it happened. That's why one proof. I'm not telling you that God is God's book only. No, no, no. We have historical documented proof that this Bible is reliable. Yes. Amen. Amen. Our God is reliable. Yes. We do not need people to prove God. God, sometimes you say, God, if you are God, prove to me. Mm -hmm. hey, he doesn't need you to prove him. Mm. It is you that need him to prove you. Amen. <laughs> ah, what a joy. How I love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful one. I love your name. <laughs> I love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one, I love your name, how oh, I love your word, how I love your word, Jesus, you're the beautiful one, I love your word, I love your word, I hope you feel what we are feeling here. It's peace peace of God that passes all understanding guard your, your heart and mind through Christ Jesus from now and forevermore Amen. in Jesus mighty name